This is uh, my ultimate custom to me a high lift. Just wanted to show the customized front bumper. We have a uh, front bumper with a uh, full working winch. So what you have to do is just take a three wasting wrench, uh, oh, three wasting, three racing winch. Uh, kind of just French out the French grill so it fits in there cleanly. Uh, the metal three wasting winch literally just slides right between the two the two bumper plates so it fits in there real nicely it's just the perfect one if you're three dog the three bulldog race the three dog racing one the big one uh, doesn't quite fit in there as good so the three racing one fits right inside there a little better and then the custom front bumper which has got the clearance under there for that as well uh, just to show you the truck um, of course you got the tilt bed what I have here is two hard to see but two posts here, I'll get a better shot of them. Um, just so, all you have to do is do two screws from the very bottom. Um, they're just little brackets, so basically all I do is flip over the truck and I'll have two screws here and two screws here that hold the whole front body on. So all you have to do is take, uh, I would just uh, flip it over, undo the four screws, lift the body off, the body comes right off, and here is the chassis of what I have on the high lift. Really not a lot of stuff, not a lot of wires clear, but uh, again, motor, uh, this is the gear up motor down conversion. Motor is up in front, makes it real nice and clean. I've gotten rid of the whole deck so I could try to keep everything clean. These are the little brackets, really you just need a little simple standoff. Um, ultimately, pretty, pretty simple. These little parts are the Tamiya high lift old shock parts you might even be able to get some of these new high-end shock parts here if you like but they're just the stock shock part uh, raised out there with one extra hole drilled into the corner to try to get it out there to uh, to match up the whole spot on on here but uh, again those just uh, line up all you have to do is uh, you know make sure you just bolt uh, these parts here uh, there through the bolt and that, that takes care of it and then the other two bolts I'm just mounting up here and I'm able to reach through the bottom as well that comes off and um, you know that's what the front bumper looks like well, the front bumper is fully mounted and what I did is took the stock brackets for the shock the ones that have a little 90 out and with one little triangle circle on the end you use the 190 out it was kind of the perfect height to put so all I had to do is take one little piece of uh, a little piece of aluminum to uh, mount it in there to I could sandwich between it. Uh, it worked out pretty good to bolt it out in the front. Basically took a piece of 90 iron, a little piece of 90 iron aluminum, a little 90 aluminum, Frenched it in there and then mounted uh, the winch on top of the winch bracket on top of that, bolted it all together and then uh, anchored it all down there. So uh, a little hard to see a little bit, but uh, you can kind of see that uh, everything is in here. Here uh, is the wireless control for the winch. And um, I, I even have in this area a winch, a lighting control in between the two, and a remote control winch controller. This is the winch controller for the other winch. Um, it just comes with a remote control, color, uh, remote control winch controller. So, you know, I used this controller on the three racing winch. Again, the... Uh, uh, Komodo axles and I'll just show you real quick this just goes on I bring this down doesn't hurt to have something for the skill body to not wreck it and as quick and easy as it is to take a couple screws and all I have to do is just pop this on of course it would help if I grab my magnetic set Do just slide this one in. Like that. And do the same with this one. This just helps bring everything nice and tight and lines it up. When I squeeze the back, kind of just brings everything nice and tight. And again, those just to show you those two screws, nice and clear inside there. Plenty of clearance. And, and we just pop on the front too. All these do help if you have a magnetic screwdriver because you can get them in there and nail them on the first time and not have to fight with them. And there's one more front. 
and one lost screw. Yeah, just like what you don't want to do, right? Wherever that screw went. Be like, yeah, there it is. Be like, yeah, yeah, there it was. There it is. Be like, I'll get it, I'll get it. Be like, slip of the screw. Always great. Try this one more time there. Alright, that would be screwed in. And now the full uh, winch, I changed the uh, free racing winch to a full metal wire. Basically, this will take the whole support of a winch and the winch will climb up there with it as well. Uh, so all I have to do is, you know, if I feel like turning everything on and getting everything locked and going, we just turn the radio on. You can always plug in your battery, close this down, slide in. You just take one of your clips, wrap it around a little $2 leather strap. You could do it with a different piece of twine, same thing. This makes them easier to get off too instead of having to fight with them. And when they're in, they look like little scale bundles of rope. So, you know, to try to get as realistic as possible, I mean, you can't argue with that. And then they can move around and kind of toss around in there and, and move kind of never in the same place, so, which is pretty good there. And then the truck has got a full, you know, you can pick it up from there. This is the. Uh, Expensive uh, rack, $130 solid metal rack there that you could buy from RC Four Wheel Drive. Um, I really recommend it. I mean, I could pick it up from any part, and then when the truck does fall over, okay, if you take a little shrink tube on the mirrors, the truck falls over, it will hit the mirror and then just kind of roll, hit the truck, and then it it is pretty well protected. It's uh, probably only just rubs a tiny here and a little bit here. The rest of this is all really well protected. The mirrors do get a little beat up, but doing a little shrink tube on there, heck, if one gets cut up, you just swap out the shrink tube, and there you go. Um, all I have to do is reach in here and turn on my speed controller, and then the truck is running. All I need is... Okay, there we go. My wireless winch controller. My wireless winch controller is just one of these, and all you have to do at any time is just to... Uh, have it go on and have it go up. Works pretty good. Um, pretty heavy duty. Pretty hard, I say, to get something that can do the weight of your own truck, but this can lift up the weight of this whole truck. This truck has probably got to be somewhere in the neighborhood of, uh, I hate to say it, but this truck's got to be in the neighborhood of probably seven, seven or eight pounds. Solid metal. Um, Weighs in a lot, does help for wheeling, but uh, that's it. Just wanted to give you a little video of that. I don't know why I have it down there so you can't see it, but just the last little bit of the truck. And there you go. All wheelable, ready to go. See you on the next one.